guys, what's up? It's Prella High Def bringing you a Motion 5 tutorial, my first one. And today we're going to be looking at motion tracking. And, okay, so we got Motion 5. Basic new look. And let's go find some footage I can use to motion track. Just took some footage today. Let's go with the newest footage. Actually, no, let's go yesterday and do this one. It's simpler. Okay. Do that import two videos? No. So you got me, and basically, you can see I want to put a fireball in my hands like any other kid or person for anybody. You know, people want fireballs. That sounded weird. Okay, so go into your library. Under particle emitters, choose pyro. And then you can see you got a whole bunch of stuff here. You can choose a flame, you can do flaming with smoke, so you got a smoke trail coming after, do liquid steel, explosions, whole bunch of other stuff. Flamethrower, corona, many things. Burning match and big blast. You know, a ton of stuff. Uh, for this, we're gonna choose flame. No. No, let's just do flame. And click apply. Okay, so I gave you all this stuff. Oh no, actually, don't apply it yet. Apply it when you see your hand when you want the flame to appear. Right there. So now I'm gonna hit apply. apply. And. What you want to do to make it look like the flame appears in your hand is, is this the flame? Yeah. You want it to have scale to zero, right, like here when it's not there, or, you know, about there, and then choose a keyframe, and then about two seconds later, bring the scale up a bit and a few more seconds. Bring it about the size that you want it if it will change. I think that's about the right size and then just be good. So now nice oh god, that's not good. That is a huge flame. Okay, let me just I want it to appear right here. So I hit apply. I want it to kinda get gradually bigger. Oh no, the flame does that by itself. We don't even have to worry about that. It's just too big of a problem for us. We don't even have to do it. It just does that. So, get it exactly on your hand where you want it. And it's as simple as click record. And then just play through and keep the flame on your hand. It'll, the little gray thing is showing you where the flame is going to go. So you kind of just want that to be a little guide. I know it doesn't look like the cleanest motion track, or it doesn't even look like motion tracking, because it's, technically, it's just keyframing. Very smart keyframing, not really. I should go back a few frames. Right. There, bring it down. Then I may have messed up a bit. Oh no, we want it to continue off screen. Now let's see what that looks like. Ball up here. Shoot. Yeah, you can see it kind of jumped a bit right there. So we can fix that by just dragging it a bit and rotating some stuff. Now let's see what that looks like. It looks better. But what if you want the ball to either get bigger or smaller as it shoots away? Well, you can. So you want it to get bigger. So you just click record and get on the HUD. 
as it gets away. Oh. Uh, well, actually. I'm not sure what that does, but let's just see. Yeah, that made it look a bit better. Kind of lagged and whatnot. So, let's play that back. Ball up here, move, throw. And it lagged. So let's just shift Z. Shift Z to fit. Was it? No. Yeah, shift Z. So this is fit. So this is what you'll see. You'll see it fly off the screen. So I think that's good. And basically, just wherever you want the video to end. So I want it to end right there. And you can't see it anymore. Oh, well, actually, I should have kind of marked it. So I want it right. Yeah, I want it right there. And that's the end of the video. And just play through. And the video will stop right there. So, that's basically a little intro and some motion on motion tracking or and or keyframing some stuff. If it was motion tracking, it would have followed the hand a bit better. So, I'll have an updated tutorial, I guess, coming on how to do it with some other stuff. Uh, yeah, stay tuned to my channel for some more motion graphics, and thanks for watching, and please subscribe.